Hey there guys, Core here with uh, Slash Gear and Android Community. And today we're taking another look here at the brand new Google Chromebook Pixel. And uh, off the bat here, what we did want to show you real quickly is a little bit more about this display. So as we all know, uh, the Chromebook Pixel has a beautiful 12.85-inch, uh, 2560 by 17 just Ultra HD high-resolution display. Um, um, out of the, you know, past few days using it, it's clearly one of the best displays I've seen uh, color-wise, tablet, smartphone, laptops, you name it. It's, it's a beautiful screen, but what you noticed there was it's got that full touch display. Um, it's multi-touch, pinch to zoom, everything you think would be available on a touch screen is clearly here. So uh, that's just one thing that sets apart here, the uh, Chromebook Pixel from uh, other devices, especially other Chromebooks. So uh, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's extremely smooth and responsive to touch. Um, just overall, it's it's very good. Go ahead and tap into something here like uh, the Chromebook Pixel again and uh, get a look at that. And uh, obviously here, um, if you use a smartphone or a tablet, you kind of want to pinch to zoom, but that doesn't work on the browser. Obviously, you don't need that on something like the browser, but that is a feature that is available. So, we go ahead and go into something like Google Maps. It will work as expected. So here, we go ahead and zoom into Las Vegas. Maybe go down to the strip, go to the forum shops, see what we can find. And as you can see, the pinch to zoom is is quick and responsive and just works great here on the Chromebook Pixel. Um, Google's done a great job making this touch screen um, extremely responsive while keeping that just ultra HD display uh, present here. So that was nice to see. And um, then obviously here the, the hinge is really important if you're going to be tapping and using the touch screen a lot. So uh, this new this new uh, piano hinge is what they've called it. It's it's extremely durable and sturdy. As you can see as, as, as I'm flipping through, I mean there's there's a little bit of give if I push really hard but as far as you know quickly scrolling through a page and finding an image and go ahead and clicking on something you can see it works great and it's smooth yet it's still durable and sturdy and then it's also strong enough and, and easy enough that it'll open and close with one hand so Google made a big deal on making this hinge extremely durable yet easy enough to open with a single hand so that's really nice to see here um, Google did a great job on that so but while we have you here we'll quickly just kinda go through a few things give you a, a little bit of a, a look here the Google uh, Google's a uh, web store here with Google Chrome. Obviously, this is geared for the Chrome browser, um, more so than the Chrome OS in general. So we have tons of games and apps and extensions and everything that we're familiar with with Google uh, with their Chrome web store. But I was kind of disappointed to see that um, there's not really a way to filter out themes, extensions, and especially games and apps that don't work with the Chrome OS but do work with the Chrome um, browser. So as you're going through a lot of these games and options in the web store, you'll find a game, try to install it. It does not work because this is a Chromebook and not a Windows 7, Windows 8 PC. So that was kind of a letdown. Um, we were hoping Google eventually maybe will have a way to, to filter some of that out. But as you can see here, there's tons of content. As expected, this isn't anything really extremely new for the Chrome Web Store, so it's more the fact that they're all here in one spot, um, which was interesting to see. And then obviously here, you can go ahead and go in here and change everything with this touch screen. And slide that around if you'd like. Move the browser. But, another thing here is everything's extremely responsive as you can see so for anyone that's used the uh, Chrome OS in the past we've got all of our little information down here and updates available and quick settings um, neatly available on the side and then once you tap over here you'll have sort of a look and system that's more similar to what we've seen on smartphones and tablets where you can just simply swipe with your finger to go through a couple of these applications a lot of them come pre-installed YouTube, Google search Google Drive documents and all that. But then, this is a touch screen. Come on, we have Google Play, Google Movies, Google Music. But uh, things like Angry Birds, this is nothing new to the Chrome Store, but being a touch screen device here, it makes it um, a much more enjoyable experience. So that's just one more thing that the uh, Chromebook Pixel can bring to uh, Google Chrome OS. Go ahead and skip this, play Angry Birds and a lot of these phone games that we are familiar with, all using touchscreen controls that we're used to. So, that was just a quick look at that. 
did okay, but enough Angry Birds. It's been around for way too long. And then there's obviously all the extensions. You can add your Instagram directly into, you know, your experience here with the Chromebook. Chromebook Pixel here. But that was just a quick look. We want to give you a little bit of a uh, sample here on how the overall usage is with the Chromebook Pixel and how smooth the uh, you know Core i5 works inside here along with this multi-touch um, Ultra HD display. But that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for plenty more pictures, video, and full review.